What's going on guys? Welcome back to F1 2017 picking up where we left off. We finished the Spanish Grand Prix and today we are heading to a very very difficult track for me and I'm not excited for this race if I'm honest. This is going to probably be my wor worst race of the entire season. This is Monaco, boys. So at the end of the last race, we got some good upgrade points, or some resource points, excuse me, and we are absolutely monstering our rivalry. Depending on how today's race goes, we might actually be able to uh, do some more upgrades, which could be really, really nice. We have our engine upgrade that's supposed to be here for the Canadian Grand Prix, so fingers crossed uh, that actually finishes up. So let's go to the next weekend straight away. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Now that I think of it, if I did want to do some upgrades, I should have done it then. Whoops. Oh, yay. My favorite track. I say that. It is actually my favorite track. Like, I love the Monaco Grand Prix. Ever since I was a little kid, I was always like, like, this would be the first track that I came and raced on in every single F1 game. I love it. Um, all right. So we've got that engine upgrade coming. And if it fails, it's going to cost us around 600 bucks to fix or so. So that should be fine. How about this? Will this give me more power? Oh, these these mean I get cheaper parts, so I should probably like work on that because these are gonna be 10% off so I'd be able to get 50% off for all of these and then wasn't it last race where my engine started to have some problems again? Let's try to use our old stuff here for practice today so we don't go through every single uh, part of our car so that will be good gearbox as well. Oh my god, we're we're already on our third gearbox! Oh my god! Alright, practice one. Let's go. Oh yes, round six. You know the best part about the Monaco Grand Prix for me personally? It means the next race is the Canadian Grand Prix, which is my best race in F1. If I don't win that one, boy, I'm gonna be quite annoyed. Actually, you know what? Before we get into this, can I quit? Can I quit? Because I'd like to make the AI harder. Race setting. I can't make it hard. Quit, 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 quit. Can I? Yeah! All right, let's go up to master. See how hard master is. We're on AI difficulty 90. That's pretty tough. All right, so we've got a bunch of practice programs to do today. Let's uh, just jump on and try to get as many resource points as possible. Keep those upgrades rolling in. All right, so let's go here in Monaco. This is my first time driving around these circuit. this circuit in these monstrous cars. They are so much wider than they used to be. This is gonna be weird for the race. It's gonna be really, really tough to pass. Maybe this wasn't the race where I should have turned up the difficulty. I don't know, we'll see. Oh my God, you can, you can probably hear my wheel vibrating. That is how not smooth this track is. That is crazy. Oh, and I've already bumped the wall here in Monaco. Hey, you know what else I heard? I heard that uh, Codemasters is doing a little update for their game. There's a patch coming in uh, soon, actually, which helps people like me who have been playing on 25% race distance. Anyone- No! Anyone who's done that, you would probably have noticed that your gearbox and your engine upgrades, or your engine itself, has been wearing very, very quickly, and they're actually going to make it slower which is very good. I wonder if maybe fuel efficiency is gonna be easy on this track because I've noticed that I, I find myself coasting around this circuit quite a bit, so it's possible. Yo, that sun coming out of the tunnel is really, really intense. No, I did it. Oh, it didn't give me a red. I was like, I did it again. That's it, that's me done. Did I get enough points? I was five points off. Are you serious right now? That was a nice little drift around the corner. And that's gonna do it. That's gonna be enough. Just. Tire management test. These are usually quite easy. Especially on a track like Monaco. I can't imagine this is gonna be super hard. All right, tire wear test. We should be fine to do this. This isn't a track that uh, rips up tires particularly quickly. So I would imagine we're fine. Like, yeah, we're already into the green. I, I never find that I rip up my tires in Monaco. Yo, look at this. We're already in the purple, boys. Oh, never mind. Yo, this is just one of those tracks that maybe I'm gonna be okay on for for these practice things. Like, this is okay. There we go. There we go. Purple. Thank you very much. Tires are in good shape. Back to the garage we go. Maybe I'll try fuel. Because I, I, I feel like I don't use very much on this circuit. Let's give it a go. How hard can it be? I shouldn't say that. I should have learned better. And now my fuel's gone out the window. 
F this practice thing. No. Garage. Qualifying pace. Thank you. All right, little Red Bull. Let's see what type of time we can do. I recommend they do not stick their head out like that again. All right. Up the hill we go. Let's try to set something. Yeah, okay. It shakes so much coming up the hill. It's unbelievable. These street circuits are gonna be no fun. Just wait for Baku through like the castle section. We're screwed. My wheel's just gonna shake itself to bits. All right, let's give this a go. See how we can do. We're just green right now. Yo, how am I so red on time? Oh. I'm gonna qualify dead stone last. I just wanna get green, man. Green will do just fine. I'm just saying. Oh, it's Stroll. Stroll's gonna have a crash, I can tell you. Yo, I wonder if we're gonna get a safety car today. If I had to bet, I would say hell yes. I find safety cars in this game are quite hard to come out, actually, though. Thanks, Stroll. Thanks, Stroll. Thanks, Stroll. Fucking Lance! At least we got some decent resource points, up to 700 now. Hey, we got that! Off we go to practice two. All right, race strategy, here we go. Oh no, is this a McLaren? Yes, it is. On my freaking thing. I think he's on an outlap. Alonzo, I know you have no power, but if you could either pick up the pace or pull over, that would be much appreciated. You knocked the front wing. The damage only looks minor, but you'll need to take it easy to avoid making the problem worse. That's cool in the tunnel, you have bad radio reception. Very, very cool. I like that. Oh, red. No, 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 no. Science! All right, let's just park the car and go back to the garage. Today's race is gonna go badly. Warning. Oh, front wing damage. Screw it! End session! Qualifying! All right, here we go, boys. Flying lap, here comes first place. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Last place, probably. Pascal Verline sets a 115. My challenge is gonna be if I can match that. Valtteri goes and sets a 112. That's good for him. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go across the line. We're going to pull a 1 minute 14.9. Whoopsies. Yo, I have fuel mix max. What is fuel mix max? I've never seen that before. Like, we most certainly have not had that in the races, I can tell you that. It seems to be dropping our, our amount of fuel by a lot. But, you know, yep. Yeah, it makes me faster. So how am I doing on this lap? I'm 1.6 seconds green. Somehow I got a 113.2. I don't know how, but I'll take it. So session, let's just skip straight to the end. See how I am. I'm in fourth place now, fifth place now, of course, behind those four. As per this whole season. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Valtteri Bottas, best lap, 18 seconds. Verstappen, 18 seconds. Stroll, eight, Stroll, 19. What the fuck? The AI just cheated. They just went, they just probably went down and went through the pits again. How? How did they do that? Well, um, we found a glitch in, in F1 2017. No shit, he got... Fastest lap. Look at his fastest sectors. He did sector four, the pit, the line through the pits. That's bullshit. I beat him in everything. Oh, we're almost ready. Let's hear what the people say. They're gonna say they got an unreasonable time. A fantastic lap yesterday. It was fucking fantastic. 18 seconds. What place did I finish? How does everyone have penalties? Why do I have a penalty? Alonzo doesn't even have a penalty, but he's in 18th place. What is going on today? <laughs> All right, lap seven. We're going to pit until lap 20. <laughs> End of the race. All right, let's go. And go. Here we go. Away we go. Massa gets quite a good start. Whoa, Raikkonen with a very, very quick start. Um, um, um. What the fuck happened there? What the hell? How is there someone still there? And away we go. Whoa, Mass is getting a very, very, very quick start. Never mind, he lets off the gas for some reason. He ha 
It's happened again! It happened again! Edit, restart! What the hell? Can we not play bumper cars off the line, please? Just gonna say that nicely, please? All right, here we go. Try that one again. Massa, again, poor start off the line. Oh, buddy. Ferrari. Ferrari versus Ferrari. Somehow I hold that one. They're going three wide up the hill. That is a dangerous move to be playing. Ver uh, Vettel, I was about to say Verstappen. Going slowly up the hill. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, Vettel, why are you going so slow, bro? I'm going to push you wide. Push you very, very wide. Whoa, we bump. I didn't mean to push him that wide. All right, standard revs. We're already dropping our fuel into the red. That's not good. Let's just try to play it safe this race, man. Actually, we're going to need lean. Our fuel's still going down, even on standard revs. It's like our engine burns so much fuel it's not even funny max verstappen sets the fa oh there goes my wing completely how does verstappen sets the fastest lap strategy change what do you want a strategy change lap one for super softs how the hell is that no that's not gonna work actually actually that would probably work that would be one hell of an undercut let's do it because i'm gonna get held up behind the stupid sauber point proven so let's go into the pits fix my wing no one's gonna be in there. I'm not gonna get held up. All right, Jeff, are you ready for the undercut of a century? Lewis Hamilton goes and says, whoa, that- Yeah, there's a lot of my wing missing, I realize. New wing, new wing, come on. Put it on, put it on. Let me go. Do up the clips. That's a 10 second pit stop. How is Vettel in 20th place? Did he go in already? I think he must have pit. I mean, I guess that's good for me. If he's already pit, except we're gonna slow each other up out of here. I can guarantee you that. Oh, I'm a pit limiter. I don't need a tutorial now. I just need a big flashy thing on my screen that says disable pit limiter in three, two, one. Pit limiter, gone. Oh, he still ripped it past. All right, let's try to not break this wing. Maybe just sit with Vettel, have him pull us along. This is the weirdest race ever in F1 2017. We'll start it off with the 18 second laps, then every single person taking a penalty. Like, that's unbelievable. It's a good thing that patch is incoming very, very soon. I'm just gonna say. Just wanna watch, take my car around the track slowly. I'll be okay, I'm in, I'm in last, but I have no pit stops anymore. Providing that I can take care of my tires, I should be okay, I hope. I shouldn't say just tires, I should say front wing as well. Which, uh, may have problems with. Vettel goes and says the fast lap at a 115. I actually cannot believe we're in last place right now. And we're gonna have to make these super soft tires last for 20 laps, basically. I mean, it's doable. It's just tough. That's the problem. Vettel goes and beats his own time. That's insane. I set a 116.7, so a bit slower. When I say a bit, I mean two seconds slow. Yeah, I can't even see him anymore. He's gone. I'm interested to see, though, when everyone starts to pit, what uh, what place they come out of. Like, if I can jump a bunch of people, like, with an undercut, that's going to be huge. I don't know where everyone else is going to come out, though. That's the problem. They should all start to pit in approximately two laps, so that's good. And then we'll see. Vettel is nine seconds in front now. That is crazy fast. How It's just insane. Oh my god, 114.7. He's just doing a shootout here all by himself, just for top lap. So we're still in lean revs. Let's try to get up into standard revs now because I know everyone's going to be pitting. So let's try to put a very good lap time in now. See if we can possibly get in front of some people. All right, well, we're going to come out in front of some people here. We'll see how many places we can jump. That's going to be 15th place for us right now. That's not bad. Still with another group of cars to pit soon, I think. We're going to jump up to... Is that 11th place now? Yes, it is. Okay. We're not doing too bad. Maybe the undercut was a good strategy choice. Now, we still have Perez in front, who we assume has already taken his pit stop. And we'll see if we can start knocking that lap time of his down a bit. Down to a four-second gap now. There seem to be in a massive, massive train here. So I want to see if I can catch these guys up. I'm so surprised, honestly, that there hasn't been a safety car. 
Like, I'm just gonna say that, like, I don't understand how there hasn't been. Like, there have been quite a number of bumps and crashes in this race and just debris all over the circuit. I think in real life there would have been a safety car for sure. So Perez now is 4.4 seconds in front. Okay, and Raikkonen is behind me. So somehow in all of that, we seem to have jumped Kimi. Kimi's gonna put in some really, really fast laps and be on me really, really soon. So we need to make sure we get in front of Perez quickly. Now 4.4 again. We're not getting that gap down. Oh no, Kimi's now setting fastest lap times as he's behind me. Oh, yay. So when Kimi eventually catches up to me, I think the strategy is going to be to just let him go past and then try to stick with him and get a pull from him maybe. Try to mimic his driving in some way, let him go on the attack up against those guys up there. I think that's going to be the best strategy if I'm honest. Probably going to let him go up past up the hill, I would imagine. So where's Kimi? There's Kimi. Kimi, you're probably going to need a half lap or so to catch me up. We're 4.1 seconds now to Perez. So that's looking good for us. There are still the guys with the inverse strategy who will need to pit, I think. Should put me up into the points, at least. I hope. <laughs> I keep saying it's like, I think this is going to happen, I hope. Alright, Kimi, take the inside, take the inside. Slow line, slow line, slow line. Kimi, go for the overtake. Get him, Kimi! Go, Kimi, go! I probably should have let him pass here now that I think about it. Probably would have been much more efficient. We only have so many la Oh, my wing! We spend all this money developing this whole new fancy front wing and then I just go and knock it off at the earliest possible time. Yo, even Mass is catching me. I can't even blame this one on my engine. Oh, how I wish I could. So the guys who are doing that whole inverse strategy thing will probably be in the pits now, maybe next lap or so to get on their new tires. So maybe we can get a couple more places and get in the points, but I don't see anyone in there just yet. Yo, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. No, 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 it's Verstappen. No, Verstappen. What happened, buddy? No. Oh, that's annoying. Freaking Verstappen. Another, I would imagine, engine blowout. Yeah, he's gonna be done. I don't know how he's nursing that car all the way around the circuit, though. It's possible he may have driven over one. Yeah, he's made it to the pits. I doubt he's gonna retire in there. How has Raikkonen not gotten past, like, Perez and stuff like that? I'm just gonna say, like, is he being held up massively? Remember what I was saying about how hard it is to pass on this circuit? Yeah, there's been, like, no overtakes. The only way we've gotten overtakes, I think, was right at the start of the race. And then I pulled out of that, went with an early pit stop and tried to get overtakes in that way. And then, I mean, I let Kimi pass, and Verstappen was basically on the side of the track. Other than that, there's not really even been any overtakes in this. I wonder what place Vettel ended up after we were so close out of the pits together. I think he's going to be pretty high in the points, if I'm honest. Oh, and, yeah, there's just me not being able to drive well. Yeah, performance will be affected. I can feel that. Well, kiss Massa goodbye. Kiss any points goodbye. Unless there's a massive problem here with two laps to go. Oh, Max Verstappen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Max Verstappen sets the fastest lap at a 114. How? How has he done that? Also, what place is he in? Stop telling me there's damage on the front wing. I'm aware I can't go around a court. Oh! Yeah, there he goes. So damage in F1 2017 is a lot better than F1 2016 to the point that if you lose your wing, you can't drive. I'm experiencing that right now. Not being able to go around a goddamn corner. Today's gonna be a really bad day for Red Bull. I'm just gonna say, Lewis Hamilton fastest lap. No, he beat Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton, race winner. I had no idea who was in first place this entire race, but there you go, it's Louie boy! Yo, my best lap is a 115.2. It's actually not bad. I'm just saying, I don't know when I got that, but well played to me. Oh, there goes my other half of my wing. Okay, Alonso better not get me! That's a big drift. I don't want to retire. That's a dumb place to go for a gap. You should know better, buddy. Who's gonna be in third? Let's place a bet. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say a Williams. 
I'm gonna say maybe Stroll. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hulkenberg? No way! Wait! Stroll was there! What the fuck? I called it though! Holy shit! Oh my god! What a weird ass race! Oh my god! So, Hamilton, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Vettel 4th, that's crazy, Bottas 5th, Kvyat, Raikkonen finished 10th, oh, Max Verstappen, last place, oh, buddy. Yeah, nothing's changing for us, but Stroll's going up to 8th place, what the hell? Constructors, yeah, not much is changing, oh my god. Resource points, hell yes, going up to, oh my god, nearly 900 resource points. Rivalry, yeah, I finished higher than him, but he had a faster lap. Yeah, all right, we're one point away actually from uh, knocking down Max Verstappen and hopefully getting first driver on the team. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that was F1 2017 at Monaco. Not our best race, but hoping for very, very good things in my hometown race next week. So make sure you subscribe down below for more. Check out the merch on the store. Links down below. There is some really, really cool stuff. Also, Discount code F1, just gonna give you a little tip. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next part uh, for the Canadian Grand Prix. We've also got our upgrade coming in, so we'll have to see how that did as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Bye!